records show us 26-year-old Cody Kurtz rode his motorcycle. An 85-year-old driver pulled into his lane. Cody was killed instantly. A mother never forgets where she was, what she said, the last time she saw her child breathing. Tammy Ferrer was in the kitchen. Her son Cody had to run an errand. He left and said that he was going to go for a ride. He gave me a hug and a kiss. And he said, I love you, Mom. And I said, I love you, Piggy. Be safe. This is video from a business on 45th and Hillsborough. You can see the green car approach to make a turn. The driver is seconds away from the collision. This is the final image of Cody alive. Records show Tampa police estimate Cody was going 65 and a 45 when the driver pulled into his lane. Police allege the driver failed to yield the right of way, something they repeat on scene. It looks like he pretty much pulled in front. I mean, if you see the damage, yeah. the motorcycle had to be moving, but it's clearly uh, him pulling out. Pulling out, yeah. So if you look right here, I mean, that's going to be... Yeah, 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 it's, wow, right up, wow, yeah. that motorcycle must have been moving. Yeah, he was moving, but yeah. at the same time, he still had yeah. the right away. Yeah. The officers are concerned the man may not be fit to drive, so they report him to the DMV by clicking yes in the re-exam box. This act triggers a state review of the man's license, potentially taking him off the road. Yeah, you probably definitely need for a re-evaluation for sure. But for Tammy, it's too late. It's horrible. My son is gone forever. There's not words for that. I want to get to the bottom of why the box wasn't checked in May. Cody was coming down this way when police say the driver pulled onto Hillsborough Avenue, making an improper turn. And it wasn't the first time. At the same spot just three months before in May, police say the driver did the exact same thing. He pulled onto Hillsborough Avenue. He failed to yield. Thankfully, the person hit that time was in a car, not a motorcycle. You said you're injured? Yeah, I hit my okay. hit your head. This is body cam video from the crash in May. It sounds like he violated her right away. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's what she made so. Records show Tampa police cited the 85-year-old driver for failing to yield. But look, they don't report him to the DMV. And the re-exam box, they click no. That means he can keep driving. The big red flag was in May to get him off the road because he was dangerous, because he hurt people. So why wasn't the box checked in May? Tampa police tell me a re-exam is requested at the officer's discretion. Police focus on the physical and mental ability of the driver, their eyesight, hearing, and cognitive abilities in communicating the details of the crash. Police say in May, the driver didn't display any troubling indicators, but in August, he did. Watch portions of the body cam for yourself. Here's the driver in May. Are you injured? I have a headache. August. Do you feel any injuries or anything like that? I got a headache and I'm pain in this. May. Well, technically, when you have somebody coming, then you can't just jump right out in front of them like that. No, 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 no. She come about 100 miles. 80, 100 miles. August. He come about 100 miles. And then he come in the center. To Tammy, the incidents are identical. She says Tampa police drop the ball. And she'll tell anyone who'll listen, including Tampa City Council. In May, three months earlier, he did the same thing. And at that incident, the officer or nobody checked the box on the citation. We are here today to raise the red flag as a matter of public safety. So Tammy wants this person to stop driving, but the process of taking away a license is a lengthy one. I checked the DMV's website today, and this man is still allowed to drive. I also called him to see if he was still getting behind the wheel, which, again, he is legally allowed to do, and we are waiting to hear back. But there are consequences, I suppose, that this driver could potentially face down the road, right? Yeah, there is. So Tampa police tell me that this is still an open case. So for the August incident for Cody's death, police have not issued any citations yet. Now, Tammy does want more serious consequences. Emails that we have reviewed show the state attorney's office is looking into the facts here and we will bring you any updates as soon as we get them. Sad.
sad turn of events. All right, thanks, Masa.